Hi, I'm Sean from Make Designery. Today, I'm really excited to show you a 1950s look. After the World War, women all over the world were inspired by the big screen, having that flawless skin and really accent the main features of the face. Today, we're gonna be doing a Marilyn Monroe makeup application. This is my model, Elena. I chose a base, a highlight, a shadow, and a corrector. I chose YG2 for Elena's base coverage. Highlight, shadow five. For under eye correcting, I chose blue corrector two. For Elena's highlight, I'm using a combination of the highlight with her base. I'm stippling, kind of making my own little product on the corner. Highlight. You can even see some of the dimension coming through. After the highlight, I'm going to use a shadow to contour the face. So you find the actual contour, and Marilyn actually had it a little lower. It's always easier to build your product than it is to try to remove it. So take little baby steps. It's basically just making sure that you get rid of any type of demarcations. Kind of gives like a really smooth finish. To knock out some of the shadow around Elena's eyes, I'm using a mixture of Blue Corrector 2 with the highlight and the 930 brush. So I'm doing a combination of both colors. I need that highlight just to knock out the shadow. I need that orange undertone to minimize the blue undertone that's under her eye. To set the makeup, I'm using the Shell Loose Powder with the 720 brush. Start on the forehead, and I'm using a stippling technique, and I'm gonna work it right across her forehead, down to her nose, cheeks. I wanna make sure I really work the powder into the makeup. Now that the face is completely set, we can move on to eyebrows. Now, eyeshadow is very soft in the 50s. I designed this four color palette, which includes ice, bone, chamois, and taupe. With the taupe eye color and the two-tone angle brush, I'm gonna shape Elena's eyebrows. If you look at Marilyn Monroe, she had a distinctive point in her arch. I'm gonna lightly draw up just above the brow and angle it down. Because I reshaped Elena's eyebrows, I'm going to use a brow fix to make sure I hold the hair in place. The brow fix is in a squeeze tube form. Squeeze it onto your palette so you don't cross contaminate. I'm brushing the hair and following the stencil of her eyebrow. 